How do I get my man back after accidentally cheating on him with his father? I used to buy views, like I used to buy a Google ad. Hi guys, so DTJ answers questions from his fans on Snapchat. Now, there are some interesting answers you're going to get here from relationships to some self-meditative situations. And he makes reference to himself where he explains about how he got up in his career, depending on the question, and how he had the brains and the girls back in school. So grab your popcorn and let's sit back. In the mirror and say, I am who I am and this is me. And this is who I'm gonna be forever. And just find love in yourself. Cause you ain't gonna get one life. You can't be nobody else. Just be yourself. 100%. I'm assuming you're a girl. This is the problem with a lot of girls. You'll always think you're all right. It's okay to apologize. If you not even in the wrong, just alleviate the situation. Cause even when the man is not in the wrong, they're going to apologize because they have to. If a girl does it, even if you're not in the wrong, just to alleviate the situation, it's not that serious. It's not that deep. You don't need to be arguing, wasting time. You could be getting money. Why are you sitting here arguing? Or why are you sitting here holding a grudge and ruining your day over something that don't even really matter like that? So yes, apologize even when you're not in the wrong. It's people that didn't eat today. People that don't have a phone. People that don't have a bed to lay in, people without a roof over their head, and you worried about this little miniature problem, and you're dragging it on because you want to be stubborn. This is very specific, Tony. I can tell you got a type, but it's your preference. I don't think it's an actual formula to which girl you want to get with. I honestly think you just got to be yourself. If you get around a girl and start acting different, that ain't the way you need to be around. It's cool to be nervous in the beginning, but when you be yourself, you ain't, it ain't no hidden hidden identities or nothing. So you'll know if a girl will like you for you from the jump. If she don't like you when you being yourself, there's 8 billion people in the world. 4.5 billion is females. You hate your life, but you on Snapchat with a phone, cellular device, internet, food. Life can be a lot worse. There's people that really, really living bad right now. You're blessed. You don't need a million dollars to be living good. So I'm that girl who doesn't like public events. And as you know, hosting private events is so costly and all. But the guy I'm talking to thinks I'm doing too much. What should I do? Mind you, I'm not scared of anything. I just don't like being around a lot of friends. I want to get to know him and me. Just spending time with the two of us. I feel like he doesn't understand. Cause, feeling, Cause he used to hanging out, handing, he's hanging out with his boys and all. Well, Ephany, that's a dope name by the way. But Ephany, I would say he, y'all in the beginning stages, so he probably not fully comfortable with just hanging out with just y'all too. He probably a little nervous. Or you wanna hang out with his boys to bring you around and see how you act around his homies. So I know you don't like public events, but just go. It might be fun, you never know. Your girlfriend forgetting your birthday is a little crazy. Not gonna lie to you. So I would just play mad for a few days and then get over it. It's not that serious, but she deserves a silent treatment for at least 48 hours. How do I get over my ex? I would say just spend more time on yourself, hang out with friends and family. And you know, eventually you will start like somebody else and you forget you even had an ex. So I'm gonna say that's the easiest way. Sounds cliche, but go outside, man. Touch some grass. It's way more to life than worrying about that one person. This day and age, unless you Drake The Weeknd, Adele, um, Bad Bunny. He said Bad Bunny, like Bad Bunny? Uh, unless you Bad Bunny, motherfucking, uh, who else? Shit. You know, hella people and shit. But unless you one of them, Michael Jackson or something. Bro, you got to get on social media, bro. Like, nobody cares if you can rap good no more. No one cares if you got the best melody, the best tone of voice. No one cares, bro. There's plenty of talented people. There's millions of people in the world that can rap better than me. But nobody sees them. Nobody knows them. So it does not matter. So this day and age, bro, you got to get your face out there, man. For real. No exaggeration. 
I haven't read a book since I left school. Like, the last time I read a book was like 2016. Yeah, around 2016 when I was in my second year of college. I have not read a book since. Not proud of it, but I wouldn't say I'm a bad reader, but because when I go on Twitter for some reason, like I can read a tweet, I can read the longest tweet in literally two seconds. It's like I just scan it and I just collect all information. But when it comes to a book, bro, I get bored so quick. I don't know what it is. I Maybe I just don't have the imagination for it or what, but I don't like reading books. Y'all let me know. I know that's something that I feel like I should switch because I feel like books can help mentally. But y'all let me know. How do I tell this guy I like him when all we've been doing is sleeping together for a while with an odd cuddle? I don't know what an odd cuddle is. So I just leave it where it lays? Um, well... I think you are already telling them you like them. I would if I was you. And I'm sorry to the dudes, but I'm gonna put you on game real quick. If I was you, I would deprive him of it and see how he acts then. Niggas like what they can't have. And Atasia said, my boyfriend is friendly with other girls and this one girl likes him and I told him stop being so friendly with her and he said I was jealous and wanted to be her and said I was meat riding. <laughs> Should I be worried? Um, maybe you need to leave him alone, Anastasia. He said you was meat riding. That ain't your boyfriend. <laughs> That's funny. Nah, um, definitely uh, not just because the girls was friendly or whatever, but because... I just feel like he's just a little disrespectful. Just got evicted. How can I get out this hole? It don't seem like it's light at the end of the tunnel. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, if I can give you any advice, I would say if you don't have a job, this is the time to really apply. Um, get a job. Hopefully you got family that can back you up or you know maybe they'll stay with somebody or something. But while you work, get your money up. And then from there, you got to work with the thought in your mind that I'm working to become my own boss. So you work, stack your money up and invest whatever you want to do, whether it's hair, lashes, clothing, whatever, whatever you need to invest in to make yourself your own boss. That's the only reason you should be working for it. Never work a nine to five to live like that for the rest of your life. Work to invest. I'm in the army. How should I make more money? Normal man trying to become something up for himself. I would say, um, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I would love to watch army blogs. I don't know if you can get away with it. I don't know if they're strict or not, but I would love to watch like what it's like being in the army because I don't know. So I guess if you vlog, that might be a little niche. I'll probably watch that. But I would say social media and stuff. I get on TikTok lives all the time and I see people in the army getting donations and all types of stuff on TikTok. So do social media. There's a girl at my job. She got a man. He locked up. But she told me she's too attached to him. Keep shooting that shot, buddy, yo. It'll go in eventually. I tell people this a lot of time. And a lot of y'all don't know this, but I was a valedictorian in high school. I graduated with a 4.0 top of my class. Did the speech and everything is also available on YouTube to watch, literally. But, um... I'm all about school. I love school. I consider myself the all-around best student. I had the good grades. I had the... I had all the girls. So I was like the best stu student ever. But if you ain't going to college, college costs. College is a business. If you ain't going to college to become a lawyer, doctor, surgeon, engineer, something that's going to make you at least six figures a year, start a business, bro. Don't even waste your time. I say go to college the first year if it's a university, just so you can have fun and develop some type of social skills. But other than that, bro, it's not worth it. How do I get my man back after accidentally cheating on him with his father? How can I manage to come up with 2300 for my rent? Still give kids a good Christmas and all I have is $429. Kids don't need Christmas this year. I go. I wouldn't even give them nothing for real. 
already giving them some to live. Buy them a few toys or some. Spend thirty dollars on toys. Toys kind of more expensive. Spend fifty, sixty dollars on toys. Christmas, boom, done. Now, in order to make the money, ugh. Well, you still got a month left unless you're late. Twenty three hundred, a little much. I would say just put fifty dollars on the number on roulette and just see what happens. How do I make all my Delulu come true, Lou? Well, sometimes being Delulu is a good thing. So it doesn't even have to become true, Lou. Living in Delulu. Huh? All right. Because none of it is real. The people that be negative towards me, if they ever see me in person, they will either ask for a picture or they will just look, record with their phone from afar without me seeing, or they will see me and can't believe it's me. Then after I leave, they will either call somebody, text in a group chat, I just seen DDG out of excitement. They might talk a little shit behind it, but they never said to my face. It's fake. What do I do if I'm getting bullied? Fight back. Don't allow somebody to bully you. Fight back. Even if you lose, it's cool. Like you, even if you lose, it's alright. But if you don't fight back, they're gonna forever bully you. Fun fact: when I was in sixth grade, I got bullied for like two weeks. It was two niggas though. They were way bigger than me. They was bullying me. And it was like kind of like I don't know. I was the new the new kid at the school. I ain't know nobody, and they just always mess with me. Then I beat one of them up, and they left me alone. So you gotta just fight back, bro. They leave you alone. If a bee didn't have a stinger, would you mess with it? But you hit a fly all day, but you ain't gonna touch no bee because you know. He might stink you. He might fight back. Be the bee. Don't be the fly. I'm feeling lost in life, and I feel like my dreams ain't coming true with this content thing. Well, um, if making content isn't going your way, then maybe you got to switch it. I would never say give up. Don't ever give up. It's been times when I was doing YouTube when I wanted to give up. My views wouldn't hit me. When I first started doing YouTube, I used to buy views. Like I used to buy a Google ad. And I only had probably $20 to put in it. I put $20 on it and I get 5,000 views and, and it just give me a little bit of satisfaction. Like everyone starts from zero though. But you just gotta be consistent and you gotta be different. There's too much competition right now. But 100% don't give up. If, if one way don't work, try another way. How's the tree coming along? Yeah, give all the praise to Hallie. I mean, I put it together, but she did the decoration. She did her thing, so. Looking nice, man. Got the lamps going. My house low key looks super duper cozy now. Well guys, I think that sometimes in life, somebody just needs someone to talk to or to talk about something that they already know what to do about. But just cause you have that extra word from someone you believe in or someone you, you feel you talk to or you would consider their words as valid or valued in your life, this is what you guys and i feel like ddg did a very good job answering those questions i just don't know about that accidentally um doing stuff with the the the, the boyfriend's father girl that's not an accident guys let me know what you think in the comment section below otherwise i enjoyed listening to all of this it was refreshing it was therapeutic and i hope that these guys who got the answers can work on that i'm so sorry to the person who's trying to manage a few funds for Christmas. And I think you're really not the only one. And just as he said, do the little that you can for your children. And most of the times, children do understand. Unless you have those that throw tantrums and everything. Uh, but I feel like if they are really just kids, like kids, they would really appreciate an effort from their parents. So yeah, guys, comment below what you guys think. I'm going to see you in the next one. And remember to subscribe.